Delisha Howard here with On um, Third Movement. I wanted to bring a uh, quick word to you guys. Um, if I talk fast, I, I apologize. It's just because I, I have a little time, and I got a lot of stuff I wanna wanna get out there in this little bit of time. Um, real quick, we're gonna be coming out of. Uh, I'm actually gonna um, read a script to you and, and show you how in in the in these last time in these last days and in, in, in this very hour how we are under a lack of of doctrine how how we are under a lack of sound doctrine and being under a lack of sound doctrine is really hurting the church in today and hurting the whole hurting the body of Christ because people are not getting the truth about God they're getting a a false um truth about God are they getting um um pastors who are wolves and sheep clothing, clothing, they are getting people who are preaching the word of God after their own lusts, after their own, after their own fleshly desires. So we want to get into the um, word of God real quick. Before I get into the word of God, I want to say um, a quick prayer. I don't like to go in the word without um, praying. And if I have done that in the, in, in the past, I apologize. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> so, um, but we're going to get into the word real quick with a, a quick prayer. Father God, we thank you for all you have done. Thank you for how far you brought us, Father God. Thank you for this opportunity to come unto your word, Father God, to hear sound doctrine, Father God. I pray as a as a teacher, Father God, that I teach to people with a doctrine that comes from you and not from self, Father God. I pray that I decrease and you increase. I pray that this word, Father God, goes out to build your kingdom. This word goes out to build the people. This word goes out to the people that need it the most, Father God, that are looking for you. And I pray that this word gives people a clear vision of you. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you come in and you have your way and you use me. And I get out the way and you teach the people. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. So, saying that, we're going into um, 2 Timothy um, chapter 4. What the world I have to? Give me a second. And test. All right, here we go. Check in Second Timothy, um, um, chapter four, verse two. It says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." Chapter three. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they teach, till shall they heap up themselves teachers, having itching ears, and having de and de chapter um, we on four, having itching ears, and they shall turn away from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. All right, I'm sorry about that. You know, we met the job and got a little break, and I just want to do this video on my break, but. Chapter two, preach on um, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and doctrine. What Paul is telling, and he this is a letter to Timothy, the second letter to Timothy. And what Paul telling him is to um, uh, um, be be ready to to you know when you're preaching the word of God, be ready to suffer that long suffering to 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 suffer long. That's literally what it means to suffer long. When you're preaching this word of God, it's not going to be something that's going to be accepted by folks. And matter of fact, it's going to be something that's when you um flies everywhere. When you're preaching the word of God, it's going to be something that's hated by some folks, and they're going to hate you for doing it. Jesus said, um, "How do you figure you greater than the teacher? If they hate the teacher, they're going to hate the student." So me being a student of Jesus Christ and Jesus being a teacher, the world hates Jesus. They're going to hate me too. And they're gonna hate you, especially when you're speaking this word. But he said, um, "Be in, um, be in and out of season." That means do it all, do it always. Just, just in season or out of season, whatever season you're in, be prepared to preach in that season. You know, you may be in a season of uh, 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 of everything going good for you. Preach the word of God. You may be in a season where nothing is going right for you. Preach the word of God. You know, um, it says, "Be ready to to reprove and rebuke." Those those are things that that's gonna really uh, uh, have an effect on that long suffering because people don't want to be rebuked, people don't want to be reproved, especially in today's culture. You know, you have Christians in the church that feel like if they're in sin, 
they don't they, God 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 know their heart. This is the classic saying, only God can judge me. So in the saying that if I'm in sin, I can do I can be I'm gonna be alright because I have God and He's gonna judge me. Then I have Jesus to forgive me. So people don't not gonna wanna be rebuked, people are not gonna wanna be reproved. Then that word reprove is mean uh, uh, um to to, 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 to to help people stop and turn, literally turn from that sin or I'll I, I be corrected. So that's what that's really what that um what that means. Then it says in chapter three, for the time will come when when they will and not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap themselves teachers, having itching ears. So here's the deal. At the time of over the years of the of, of of sound doctrine being watered down to its doctrine, it's not even sound anymore. It's doctrine. Yeah, I mean you can go through 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 many many different um um channels nowadays and, and hear the word of God. There's nothing sound about it. There's nothing truthful about it. I mean it's mixed with some truth, but it's mixed with a lot of false. Um, nowadays we focus on 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 happiness. We focus on living the best life now. You know, um, we focus on naming and claiming it. You you deserve that house. You deserve that car. You should have that car. You should have that house. Even if your car working good and it's, it may be out of season, you deserve a new car because you just I don't you just deserve it. You know, and um, we we living in a day where everybody is told what they deserve. Everybody told they should get what they want. And not understanding that more than anything, we should be under sound doctrine and understanding God's heart and what God wants for in our lives. You know, the word says, search first the kingdom of heaven and everything will be added. But nowadays, nobody want to search. Everybody want to hear something that's going to make them feel good. Everybody want to hear something that's really filled of, uh, of not even, I'm, it's not even filled with milk, milk no more. Um, there's no even spiritually milk in the word no more. Um, it's all fables. It's great stories. It's great, you know. It's people getting into the pulpits talking about their own experiences and not talking about Jesus Christ, not talking about the Word, not talking about a change of life. The Holy Spirit has been watered down in the church, you know, and the Holy Spirit is is, is the aspect that's in us right now that we use to get through life. You see what I'm saying? But right now. Everything is about people and their their own lust. It's about people and their own flesh. It's about what I want, what I need, what I deserve. It's about hey, if he got a house and he outside the world. I even heard this. This is a this is this is crazy. He got a nice house and he outside the world. World, he's outside in the world. How come I'm in the church and I don't have a nice house? You know, get into God's heart because God never said that you'll get a mansion. He said he said where um where I go, there's many mansions. He didn't say it was here. He didn't say that was, was going to be here. So we get to the understanding, <laughs> and I know people don't want to hear that, but we get to the understanding that people are preaching out of their own lust and their own flesh, and they're preaching to itching ears. They're preaching to itching ears, and we're in chapter 4, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. They should t turn their ears away from the truth of God and start hearing stories about people overcoming, and they want to have that story overcoming. They want to. They they start hearing about people in the now, but not seeing but not seeing the people and, and and what they've been through and what all they had to do to get where they at now. You know, and then and everybody now is not meant for you, but we but we 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 turn away from the truth. We turn away from what's going to build us up. We turn away from what God wants us to do for fables, for stories, for, 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 for dream lives, for, for a dream, basically. To have that, that life that, 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 that's just amazing, that's everything is all right. So I really want to um, let you guys know that if, you, if you're under a, a pastor who's not giving sound doctrine, get from under him, who's not, who's not giving the truth, and, and who's not preaching the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit get from under them. Because you understand that when you pray for the Holy Spirit, pray to the Holy Spirit. He's going to give you the truth. He's going to give you understanding. He's going to give you discernment. And through your discernment, you got to be able to discern who is, speaking, who, is, who is speaking the truth and who is speaking the lie. Who is speaking the false. Who is trying to speak a word that's going to be good for your itching ears. Who is speaking out of their own lust. Who's speaking out of their own fleshly desires? Who's not speaking the truth? The lace out, I'm third moving, I'm out.